In this video, we are going to solve an equation that has fractions in it. One really nice thing about equations is we have some control over some things we can do to make things nicer. One of the things I notice about this equation is we have fractions with three different denominators. And the key that's going to help us, can we figure out what the least common multiple of 2, 4, and 8 is. Well, what's really great is that 2 and 4 both are uh, divisible into 8. Now, that's going to make things really nice because what we can do is if we multiply through by that least common multiple. Now, remember, for a fraction, if you're multiplying a fraction by a whole number, the whole number only multiplies by the top because technically that's 8 over 1. Okay, now let's distribute it. We're going to multiply this by every single piece of our equation. So our first one here, we would get 8x over 2. Well, 8x divided by 2 is 4x. In this next piece, 8 times 3 is um, 24. And then uh, you would do 24 divided by 4, which is 6. Sorry, I had a little... <laughs> slow moment there. And then here, 8 times 1 is 8, divided by 8 is 1. Now look how much nicer at this point. Our equation is much better as far as just, you know, what do we do next? Well, we're going to um, let's see, we're going to add 6 to both sides. We get that 4x is equal to 7, and then we're going to divide by 4. So that would be 7 over 4. Now, that is a good answer for an algebra class. That would be a very good place to stop. Um, 7 and 4 can't uh, reduce. They have nothing in common. Now, you can make 7 fourths uh, the mixed number, 1 and 3 fourths. In algebra, that is not necessarily helpful unless you're maybe going to divide. So stopping at 7 fourths might be a good place for you to stop. I hope that helped you solve equations with fractions. Um, have a good day.